Hello, math class. Welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson four of the eighth unit, uh, titled Scale Factors and Area of 2D Shapes. So um, when we get into the, when we're discussing area and 2D shapes, uh, the scale factor changes just a little bit. Uh, instead of only one side being scaled up, uh, two sides of a shape are being scaled up, and that has consequences for the scale factor of an area. Uh, the first thing that you can see on the screen below me is, and in your booklet, is some area formulas that you should know. So these should be pretty familiar to you. Um, some of them you might have seen in a different form, but as long as you are able to uh, know what these formulas are, area of a circle, area of a triangle, rectangle, square, those would be the main ones. There might be a few others, um, but you should generally know how to calculate the area of a shape. Uh, if it's a more complex shape, uh, you'll get the formula. So let's go right into example one. Um, Jasmine is making a kite from a, two point, uh, from a 2 to 25 scale diagram. The area of the scale diagram is 20 centimeters squared. How much fabric, fabric will she need for her kite? So in this case, we're kind of taking the um, diagram that's on the piece of paper or the original. You're taking that as the real thing because we want to scale it up. So a scale of 2 to 25, we want to scale up that small thing. So we are going to have a scale factor that's larger than 1. The way to do that is to take 25 and divide it by 2 to get k. And the scale factor would be 12.5. Okay. So the uh, area of a kite is kind of a diamond, or if you you know, believe in that kind of thing. It's also a square. I'm not sure what side of that Shreddy's debate you're on, if it's diamonds or squares, but they're the same. So this kite is going to have a length and it's going to have a width. So when we talk about it, um, it is going to have uh, its formula, the area equals length times width. And this 12.5 scale factor <clears throat> needs to apply to the length and the width. So whenever we're talking about area and 2D shapes, uh, we are actually going to talk about k squared. Uh, that is for any 2D shapes or area. So we would square 12.5. 12.5 times itself is 150, pardon, 156.25. That is a 6, just so you know. So that is the scale factor for um, making that small shape into the larger shape. So to find out how much fabric she needs, uh, the area of the uh, original, or the one on the piece of paper, is 20 centimeters squared. And you're going to need to scale it up by the, fa uh, by the scale factor for area, because we're talking about area, centimeters squared. So we're going to multiply that by 156.25. So we're going to need 3,125 centimeters squared of fabric to make our kite, okay? So it is very important that whenever we're scaling up an area unit, we're using the area scale factor, or k squared. If I was scaling up the sides, uh, if the sides, let's just say, was like four for a side, then I would be able to use the 12.5 scale factor to find out how much larger that side is. But when we're talking about area, we're having the length and the width are two sides, therefore we are going to have to use k squared. Uh, there's a section now, your turn. It changes up the ratio and the scale diagram a little bit, so pause it here, give it a try, and then unpause, and you can see if you got it right. Change up the color. Do blue. Almost threw it off my desk, but I caught it. Okay. So if the scale diagram had been drawn in a 1 to 20 ratio, 1 to 20, that means that our scale factor would be 20 divided by 1, which is just 20. So now we are going to take, we're talking about area still because we have 30 uh, centimeters squared. 
So this k factor isn't going to work for this because this is an area unit, so I know you're squared. So we're going to have to square k. k squared is equal to 20 squared, which is 400. So we're scaling this up by 400 this time. So 30 times 400 would be 12 and three zeros centimeters squared. It's going to be a really, really large kite. Um, but that is how much fabric, 1,200 centimeters worth of fabric, um, centimeters. That's how much is needed. We're making a record setting kite. If you have questions about scale diagrams um, or anything like this so far with the area scale, please let me know. Uh, the important thing is doing some critical thinking at the beginning and determining if my k is going to be a larger number or a smaller number. In these cases, I'm taking a diagram that is on a piece of paper and I'm scaling it up into a larger form, so my k has to be larger than 1. If I was taking a kite and drawing a picture of it on a piece of paper, uh, my k factor would be smaller than 1 because I am making it smaller overall. Let's roll on into the next example. Jim's laptop has a monitor with the dimensions 9 inches by 12 inches. It's not a huge monitor. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. Uh, the image on his laptop is projected onto the screen of a whiteboard. So it is assuming that it is exactly similar. According to the area documentation for the whiteboard, its screen area is 2,836.6875 inches squared. I'm going to probably round that in my calculations so I'm not sure it's going to make a huge difference once we get into that many decimals. Question A says the image on the whiteboard is similar to the image on the laptop. Uh, determine the scale factor used to project the images on the laptop to the whiteboard. So I am trying to find out what k is. Not k squared, but I want to find out what k is. And the first thing I need to do is I need to find out the area of Jim's laptop so I can compare it to the area that he's projecting it to. So the area is going to be equal to the length times the width of his screen. I'm told that's 9 times 12, which is 108 inches squared. Now I can compare um, the screen area to the laptop area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat the laptop area as like getting larger when it goes on the screen, obviously. So I'm going to take the uh, larger area divided by the smaller area to get uh, a k, uh, or a k squared, I should say, because I'm talking about area. So the area it gives us is 2836. I'm going to round that to 0.7 inches squared. Forgive me, please. And then I'm going to divide that by the area of the laptop, 108 inches squared for the area of the laptop, to get a k squared value of 26.265. So we're almost done. This would be like two and a half out of three uh, in this problem, but we need to find out what the actual k is because we're asked for the scale factor that's used to present, uh, project these images. So we're going to need to square root this number. So k is equal to the root of 26.265, which is equal to 5.125. That equals k. I'm going to put a box around it. So that's our scale factor. That's the factor that is used to project the screen uh, from the computer onto the um, whiteboard. Question B asks us to determine the dimensions of the whiteboard. Okay, so we know exactly how much larger um, like each side is for the, the screen because we have the k factor here. It's about 5.125 times bigger actually. So this is for B. We are going to take, I don't know what side, I'm just going to just call it x. Side x is equal to the number, let's call it 12 here. I'm going to take 12 and multiply it by the scale factor. Now, I can use scale factor k because I'm talking about a length. It is not a squared value. So we have 5.125, which equals 
sorry, 61.5 inches. So that's one side of the board. The other side of the board, we'll call it Y. That's the side that was nine inches on the, on the laptop times 5.125. That gets us 46.125 inches. Okay. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Sometimes you have to work a, a little bit backwards. Uh, we had to find the uh, area of the laptop first, as that was what it gave us for the screen. We also know that it's not a square screen, so we can't just square root this to find the sides. Um, found the squared k factor, found the actual k factor uh, for specific lengths, and used that in question B. Uh, I'd like you to do the your turn now. Uh, that is um, having to do with a circle. So remember to use the circular uh, area formula. If uh, you guys could pause it now and give it a try, then unpause it and we'll see if you got it right. Okay, so since the diameter of this icon is two centimeters, its radius is going to be equal to one centimeter. And I know that the um, area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So to find the area, I have everything I need. And then all I need to do to make it um, scaled up is to use the scale factor for k squared uh, for area. Uh, we found that in the last part, for we found k squared to be 26.265. There's a decimal here. So we can use that uh, to multiply by the area of the um, circle on the icon to find out what it actually is on the screen. Let's see here. Area is equal to pi times 1 squared times 26.265, which gets us 83 centimeters squared. So that would be the area of the icon on the whiteboard. There's lots of practice problems for you guys to do. Check out the summary and the key ideas. And again, I say this a lot, but if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you soon.